What's up, guys? What's up? It's your boy, Ed Kane. Hopefully, you can hear me well. I'm sitting on the rooftop at the crib. Hadn't done this in a while. Just wanted to reach out to you guys. If you haven't, please subscribe, like, and share my content. It would be greatly appreciated. It's been a long day. I have worked my ass off. I told you guys, I really work, and that's part of it. You have to work your ass off so you can enjoy all the benefits of being able to travel, work abroad, you have to take care of business before you can do any of that. Like I said, guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment, the whole nine. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. It's much appreciated, I assure you. Guys, I just wanted to touch bases with you. Excuse me, President Daylight. I'm trying to lay off the heavy, the normal. But uh, the topic of today, topic of discussion, can you find love in the Dominican Republic? This is for ladies or men, women or men, it doesn't matter. A lot of people say, hell no, no way possible at all. Dominican Republic, Caribbean islands in particular, but specifically the DR is known for Chacadoras and Sankey Panky. Those are the men that prey on the women to give them money, benefits, and you know, just, and there's nothing else in return other than sex. Just a lot of promises. Chapidora, same thing. Uh, women that prey on men, uh, they offer favors in exchange for money. That's all they want is money, the whole nine. This is my opinion. This is my opinion solely. This is not based on anybody else's opinion, and I respect everybody's opinion. I'm 40 plus years old, so I've had my experience uh, growing up in the world, dating the whole nine, and uh, good and bad, just like everybody else. I'm just gonna to touch on a few things that just, you know, you guys can just, you know, let me know in the comments how you feel. If you agree, if you disagree, give me your feedback. I stated in a previous video that there's chapter doors everywhere, there's gold diggers everywhere, and I still feel that way. I've been here for a year now almost, and yeah, I've dated, I've been with different women, you know, the whole nine. I've done that over the years, you know, just traveling. I always meet people, that doesn't mean I'm gonna sleep with all of them. But being here a year, I've kind of, you know, got my feet wet so to speak, and um, I've had more experiences. Now, you can, in my opinion, you can find love in the DR. There's no way that you can put all women and all men in the same category. Some people feel that if a woman is asking you for money or expects things out of you, that she's a chapter door. I don't agree with that completely. If you meet her and she's asking you for cell phones, you just met her, I don't care if it's been a week or two weeks, She's asking for cell phones, expensive clothing, uh, bring, send her money, bring her clothing back yeah. here when you come to visit or mail it to her. That's definitely, that's definitely yeah. cause for concern. I would definitely raise, you know, my radar would raise up and I'd be like, okay, she can, you know, she's always, te amo, te amo, uh, mi amor, I love you, mi amor, mi amor. I really hate to hear a woman say that continuously because that, that lets me know that you're, you're just a chap, you know, you're just out for what you can get. And guys, it doesn't matter how good you look, how much money you have in the States, whether you're uh, fit, whether you're buffed, it doesn't matter in the DR. When a chappie, is a, if a chappie is a chappie, she's all about being a chappie, she's all about money. What separates a chappie from a normal woman that you can meet in uh, working in a grocery store, a bank, insurance office, pharmacy, at a pharmacy, a dental office, or just a regular job, is that a chappie is not gonna work no matter what. She may work for a minute, but she's gonna find an excuse or tell you an excuse why she can't work or the reason that the job is just not for, for her. She wants something better. Uh, prime example, I met a young lady here and uh, she was cool, real cool, but she kept trying to sell me and I didn't approach her this way. She kept trying to sell me that she's not a chappie. Yes, she works, you know, doing what, doing what she do but she's not a chappy, that's not what she wants. Well, she's a chappy, but that, that's not what she wants in life. Her parents died, they left her with nothing. She had to fend for herself, but she had no kids. So I asked her, you know, just hold a conversation. Why do you have to be, why do you have to have sex for money? Why can't I say you speak pretty good English, you, you're very articulate, and you know, you can't find another job, you can't go to school to do hair, you can't do anything, oh, it's not enough money, this and that. So she comes up from Santo Domingo to Porta Plata on the weekends, on the weekends to make money. So, you know, we kept, you know, she was cool. 
We never went out or anything. We just hold a conversation. I told her, I said, hey, there's no, I don't judge you. You can do what you want to do. It has no bearing on me, period. No, but I want to be with you. I want to show you and prove to you this and that. I said, babe, I can't be with you on that level because just let me show you because what you've done and the life that you've lived, I'm not judging you because there's no funds here. There's no government assistance. There's not a lot of jobs and the jobs that are here don't pay a lot of money. So compared to what you make in the U.S. So I can understand you got to do what you have to do, but you don't have kids. You don't have a lot of responsibilities. The cost of living here for a Dominican is very cheap. It's cheap for an American or someone from a first world country. So you don't have to sell or do what you do to make money. This is a choice that you made. So that's a chat. You understand? Now you can meet chappies that work in a legitimate business, but it's few, far and in between. The chances are better that she's working and yes, she's gonna want money. I mean, in certain instances, she may ask you to get her hair done. That's 300 pesos, guys, $6. dollars you are gonna pay way more than that in the U.S. if you're dating a female. Females in the U.S. want money. If you're from the U.S. or another first world country and you're making 50 plus thousand dollars a year, that's a lot of money compared to what they make. The average person here makes 150 to 300 dollars, really 250 dollars per month. Think about that. That's like 10 dollars per day at $280 or $300 per month. That's not a lot of money. So should she expect for you to do things for her? Yes, of course, get her hair done, get her nails done. I mean, shit, even throw us off the floor parents, you know, if you can. If she's cleaning for you, cooking for you, you don't even have to ask her to do these things. She's coming over whenever you want her to, even when you don't ask her to, she's coming over. To me, that tells me that she's not a check. She's, she really cares about you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you have to be cautious. Leave out those little traps. Leave out some money in the beginning of the relationship to see. A chappie is not, she's gonna take the bait, I assure you. Leave out some money that you can afford to lose. A thousand pesos, which is $20. 40, uh, 2,000 pesos, which is $40. Leave it out. See if she takes it. Leave, it, leave it out several days. See if she takes the money she, when she gets ready to leave. Act like you're sleeping, she's leaving, okay, bye. I lock up and you leave. See if she takes it. Leave out electronics. Leave out something and just see if she'll take it. I assure you, a chappy that's all about money, who doesn't give a shit about you, she's going to take the bait. She's going to show her true colors. And just like a guy, ladies, they're going to show their true colors from the beginning. I assure you this. And also, give them money to go buy something. Yeah, just say, for instance, you give them 5,000 pesos, which is $100, and something costs 60, or $60 or 3,000 pesos. See if they bring the change back and even offer you the change back. You know what I'm saying? That's going to show you that the person has good intentions. Of course, they're going to want, they expect for you to do something for them. Why would they not? You make more money than they make, than they've ever dreamed of making. That's like millions of dollars. If you make 100K in the U.S., that's like five mil here. You know what I'm saying? So of course they're gonna expect for you to do something for them, which they should. And like I said before, women in the US want you to do things for them and it's gonna be even more expensive. Getting your getting their hair done, uh, weave and all that shit is 200 plus dollars every other week or whatever, how often they get it done. Eyelashes, here to get your nails done, it's like, or to get your manicure and pedicure. I got mine done, it's like 150 pesos, 200 pesos. Why not get, get them done for? You know, go ahead and, you know, take care of that four. It's not, not a problem at all. Hola, come on, stop. Hola, hola, hola. Just making a video for my YouTube. <laughs> so, guys, don't always feel that somebody's out to get you. You should always keep your radar up. You should always stay alert. Uh, don't ever go out like a simp, definitely. But, and don't give your heart to the first woman you meet. You never should. And ladies, don't.